Watch Fox celebrates black history with a look at a restored building that was once the place where many African Americans got their education. That education all thanks to a man who decided to stand up against inequality. It may seem like just an old building, but if its walls could talk, you'd learn this Pine Grove School is responsible for the education of many African Americans living in Columbia during the early 1900s. It was two rooms, as you see here now, and as a blackboard up there in that wall, they would come down and divide the rooms. 83-year-old Cleonice Rett says she was six years old when she started taking classes here, the year 1935. The school and others like it were made possible by a man named Julius Rosenwald. Rosenwald was part owner and leader of the department store Sears and helped to establish the Rosenwald Fund. It donated millions of dollars to support the education of African Americans in the rural South. In 1912, Julius Rosenwald gave Booker T. Washington permission to use money donated to Tuskegee Institute for the construction of six small schools in rural Alabama. The popularity of the schools began to spread across the southern states, including South Carolina. These schools would become the primary place for African American children to learn because at that time they were not allowed to attend the same schools as white children. They went to the better school day, so they had, well, had buses, and we really got their reject books. After they finished their books, then we got their books. The Pine Grove School, built in 1923, was one of 15 other Rosenwald schools constructed in Richland County. The total cost to build the Pine Grove School was $2,500. Black communities had to foot the bill, but they did get some funding from Rosenwald. When the school finally closed, the community continued to use it for events and meetings. Fast forward to 2004, the property now in the hands of the Richland County Recreation Commission. According to the commission, Pine Grove was the last Rosenwald school standing in Richland County, and they wanted to keep the history alive. Their sweat went into building the school and, and to, to bringing it, their, their money, um, when, when folks didn't have a lot of money, paid to help bring the school here. As a former student, Rhett was a front runner when it came to the restoration process. In January of 2009, the school deemed a historic site. Months later, nearly $250,000 in grant money rolled in to help restore it. We've preserved a very small part of history, and, and that's, that's key. Cheatham says the commission is working to incorporate Rosenwald school history into South Carolina education. Tune in next week for our final piece on African-American achievements as we close out Black History Month.